Okay, next up we have a, a topic which is fun to most golfers, looking at backspin. So we've got two questions on this. One person, Dustin, who I think is the envy of most of us, who's got too much backspin. Uh, and again, uh, Jay Rock's looking at how, how do you create backspin and, and, and what, <laughs> what, what are the key factors. So we're, we're going to start with this and delve in and give you a bit of information. First up, the two things that are going to affect how much the ball spins back in terms of its landing are going to be uh, the angle at which it comes down. And so does it come down completely vertically or more horizontally into the ground? And then the second thing is going to be how much spin it has left on it, which is going to zip it back. So the, the more vertical it comes down and the more spin it's got on it, the more it's going to zip back in any given condition. So they're the two factors you've got to uh, try and understand. Now when we look at the conditions themselves, uh, if you've got a really hard linksy ground, it doesn't matter, you're just never going to get that ball to come back to you. And likewise, if it's really soft and spongy and you've got some, some graph which gets some good grip, uh, the ball's going to zip back nearly whatever you do. All golf shots have some backspin, even drives we hit. So that sort of hopefully gives you an understanding of uh, backspin in terms of landing. What causes it? So here's where people get a little bit confused. The thing which just dictates how much spin you put on a golf ball, if you hit it up the centre of the golf club, is actually something called spin loft, which Trackman defines as uh, the difference between the loft on the golf club and the angle at which you uh, are striking down into it. So the bigger the, the difference between these two, the more spin you will create. So that hopefully is the key factor you want to look at is, uh, are you hitting out the center of the golf club? Um, and then how much spin loft you have. So how do you create more of it? Well, quite simply, you need to create a, a more of a descending strike with lofted clubs and you will get more backspin. If you want to try and reduce the amount of spin that you create, uh, your best bet is actually to try and reduce this angle. So you may want to come into the ball a little bit shallower so you've got less difference between the loft on the club face and the angle at which you're coming down. Uh, so a lot of the time you'll see people play this uh, with the ball maybe more in the middle of their stance rather than at the back of their stance where you're going to be striking down on it. There's a few other factors with this, uh, the, the type of golf club you have, um, the grooves, uh, the softness of the ball, all of those things have a big impact on, on the coefficient of friction between uh, the golf club and the ball. That is a big factor. So if you give anyone a Dunlop, they're going to really struggle to spin it. If you've got uh, golf clubs with fresh grooves and you've got a soft golf ball on a, on a warm, dry day, those things are all going to increase the friction between the club face and the golf ball and add more torque onto the golf ball spin, as we call it. So hopefully that gives you a bit of information around it. Thank you.